Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I am going to talk about the problems of data structures and algorithms coding contest of May of Hacker Earth and the problem name is minimum additions. Okay, so let us try to first read out the problem statement then we will together find it out what could be the best solution of this problem. We have been given an array A of n positive integers and our task is to add a minimum number of non-negative integers. Note that the term non-negative integers. To the array such that the floor of the average of array a becomes less than or equal to k okay so basically we have to find it out what could be the minimum number of non-negative integers that is the integers greater than or equal to zero that i am going to add so that the value that is the integer division of some of the elements divided by total number of elements that is present in this array after the division would become less than or equal to k Okay, so this is expressed in mathematically here and this is going to uh, be like a floor function. Okay, so you can also understand the floor function is like the integer division of the sum of the elements of this array divided by the number of elements of this array. Okay, so test cases will be given then followed by n and key and then n space separated integers of this array A. Okay, now you can easily see we have to find it out the minimum number of non-negative integers that should be added to the array. So that it uh, floor becomes less than or equal to k and test cases is like 10 and uh, at most 10 and n is like uh, at most 2 to 10 power 5 and they are well so you can easily see by looking over the constraints like uh, we cannot think for an o of n squared solution or uh, we must think for under this constraints like o of n or o of n log n solution and if uh, o of 1 per test case can you think upon then it could be like uh, uh, much better for you okay so let us try to find it out the best solution of this problem with the help of examples and uh, good approaches okay so let's move further so you can easily see like uh, the if problem statement is expressed in mathematically then you can easily see the numerator will have the sum and denominator will have the number of elements of this array and this should be like less than equal to k okay then consider the case like initially if we find out the sum of the elements of this array and n will be the number of elements of this array and if this value let's say x is already less than or equal to k like at most k then i can easily see minimum number of additions number of elements that should be added is like zero okay so let's say y will be the number of elements that should be added okay so you can easily see y is coming out to be zero if if and only if x is less than or equal to k okay x is basically sum upon this n Okay, now consider this case where x, uh, the value is not uh, less than or equal to k. That is, let us consider the particular mathematical statement. Like, uh, numerator will consist of sum and denominator will consist of like uh, n plus y elements of this uh, are added plus the sum of these y elements, okay. And that should be less than or equal to k. That is, after addition of some of the elements, it is obvious that... Uh, uh, at a time after addition of some of the elements there will always exist a state that is this value should be like less than or equal to k okay now consider this case like if we want that is initially if sum upon n is uh, like greater than k then and we want to add non-negative integers like non-negative integers okay so if we want to add the such integers like a of i should be like greater than or equal to 0. Now to uh, like uh, to find this value to be like less than or equal to k what I am going to do is I am going to add such elements like uh, elements like 0, 0, 0 and so on. That is I will add the elements of type equal to 0. And why I am adding only the elements of type equal to 0 because if you consider this, this case like if, you, uh, if I will add the elements of 0 type then my sum will remain constant in the numerator but my denominator will increase like n will go increased so if n is going to be increased then we will uh, always reach an state such that it will become less than or equal to k okay and consider if you are not adding 0 if i am not adding 0 then sum will also increase n will also increase then you can easily say we will reach a state where sum is uh, this value should become at most k but uh, that could not be like the minimum number of operations that is minimum number of elements that should be added to minimize the number of elements that should be added i will keep this sum as constant 
and I will increment this and, and this, uh, this is possible only when I will add the elements of zero type. Okay, so I have reached a conclusion that I will add the elements uh, like zero and only zero. Okay, so it becomes like this part will be always zero. So my expression would become sum upon n plus y. That is this value that should be less than or equal to k. That is I will add y elements of type zero such that this will this value becomes at most k. Okay, then what is the value of this y? that I can get. You can easily see I can get this y in like O of 1 operation and how we are going to get this one. You can easily see also this is like a floor function that is I am considering sum upon n plus y division should be like integer division and that should be like less than or equal to k. So I can easily state that y would be like uh, I am just writing down one statement sum okay sum upon k plus 1 and this is also integer division float value plus 1. I am just writing down this condition y equals sum upon k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, this integer value plus 1. And now you, you can easily say that I am not going to understand how this expression came it about. Okay, so this is all about the practice and if you consider this mathematically then you will find y equals integer value of this sum upon k plus 1 plus 1 should be like the minimum uh, limit of this y. Okay, so I'm, I should not call it as minimum limit of y. I should call it as this, let's say this as, uh, okay, I will call this as p. And I will erase this one and I will write it as p. So p equals sum upon k plus 1 plus 1. So this is the value that is going to be out, uh, that is going to be out in present should be in denominator. Okay, so what should be my answer? That is y. You can easily see y should be around like p minus n okay and basically p is equal to n plus y okay now you can easily see how this expression has come about let us try to understand that with the help of examples because i will uh, explain with the help of example then it will become clear to you rather than directly looking over that again i am just uh, talking about that p is equal to n plus y and uh, i am talking about this integer value of sum upon p that is should be less than or equal to k then p will come up come about sum upon k plus 1 the integer value plus 1 okay so let us try to understand with the help of this signal suppose sum is 8 and initial value of this uh, let's say n is like 1 and i should be uh, i should make this as at most k, k equal to 1 okay so consider that i will just increase this n n is 1 now and i will increase this 1 to 2 and so on then well uh, when will this integer value should become less than or equal to k. You can easily see when I write 8 by 2, still it is integer value is coming out to 2. And if I will, if I will write 8 by 3, it, still it integer value is like 2. 8 by 4, still integer value is 2. And when I write 8 by 5, you can easily see integer value of this one would become less than 1. Less than or equal to 1. That is 8 by 5 will correspond to the value like 1.6 and integer value is like 1. Now it becomes 1. At which p it becomes 1, you can easily see p is equal to 5. I can easily get by this formula. p is equal to sum 8 upon k plus 1 is like 2. Integer value is like 4 plus 1. That is p is coming out to be 5. And this is the minimum value that I should have in the denominator. Okay. So I should add about p minus 1 integers. Okay. Of 0, 0, 0. And you can easily see basically I am trying to find it out what could be the my uh, minimum integer p that should be present in denominator and it is it can be easily found upon using this formula okay so this is basically the practice one you can also consider this formula with the help of examples that i have explained over here and you can also let us try to take one more short example that would make pretty much clear something it about it let us say i will have sum as 4 and present as 1 i should have to make at at most 1 so you can easily see now integer value is coming out to be 4. When I will make it 2, integer value is coming out to be 2. Now when I will make it 3, integer value is coming out to be 1. So P should be like 3. Okay. How this is coming out? You can easily see sum upon like K plus 1 is 2. And it is coming out to be integer value is 2 plus 1. So P should be minimum equal to 3. And my value that should be added is like P minus M. So this is going to be like entire thing. You can also derive this formula with the help of your examples or you can have a good mathematical logical skills 
you can write it directly as uh, as i have done like that now okay so let us try to understand this also in detail with the help of coding part okay so you can see i have taken the test cases and uh, i found out the sum and i will find out p upon sum upon k plus 1 integer value and integer p plus 1 that should be like final value of p our answer should be like maximum of 0 comma p minus n and why i have taken as 0 suppose in the case like uh, denominator is already sufficient then then you can always see my p will become that is my n should be like greater than p okay in that case i will have so this was as negative so i will take maximum with 0 so that i will report answer as 0 okay so finally i have printed the answer so this will give us you all the test cases passed okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and also join our telegram channel mentioned in the description section of the video and thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon of this channel okay so thank you